Hi guys, it's Rick Shields, indoor here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. And I'm going to do a product review of a training aid. I've not done one of these for a long time, but I got sent this and I was intrigued. And then read into it a little bit more. I got more intrigued. And then I started to use it with some of my students. So I want to give you a bit of a rundown of this whole club and the experience I've had with it probably for the last three months of owning, having this golf club in this teaching bay. This golf club is a training aid that looks exactly like a golf club. So this is a seven iron. In fact, quite a good looking club head for a seven iron as well. Black head, seven on the bottom, the website across the back, and just a very nice looking semi-bladed cavity backed iron. It then features a black shaft with a lampkin grip, but what you will hear now, if I just, so that's now grip down. If I just turn that to head down, can you hear that? There is one, one or two ball bearings in there. I think there's two ball bearings actually in the shaft. And you think, well, why? What is the point in that? And I was a little bit like, yeah, what is the point in that? I then did a little bit more research from the website and the, and the literature that Gabe Golf were pushing out there. And what this club claims to do is near enough a miracle. It fixes every fault you could imagine. So I thought, okay, well, I'll give it the benefit of that. Let's see how much it works. Let me give you the, the, I wanted to know how much it works with my students before just giving you a review, just hitting it. I wanted to kind of get a bit of feedback from my students and, I'll, and I will tell you that feedback in a moment. Let me talk about the idea and what I, I've been particularly using this training aid for. The main purpose is to improve tempo and to be able to create a solid, and what they say on their website, a proper swing with fundamentals using both sound and feel. And what this, what this kind of takes form of is as I take this golf club back, we should hear those ball bearings shift down from the head to the grip. As we get to the top of the swing, that should happen and then hit. And that seems okay, we'll give that a go. Let me give that a go in, in the speed it requires to get the ball bearings to move. This is the speed that's required. I go back. If I go back normal, you'll never hear the ball bearings. This is the speed I need to go back at. Very Hideki Matsuyama. Very Hideki Matsuyama in his swing where he gets to the top and has a huge pause and then fires. That's just what it, that's what it reminds me of so much. So as I go back, I have to wait for those ball bearings to shift from the head to the grip and then hit. Now, I thought, okay, well, I can gain, I get that idea and certainly it'll help smoothen off the backswing. It'll help control the backswing. But what does it actually do to a student? What does, it, what does it feel like to a student? So I started putting it in students' hands. <laughs> I would say the first maybe five shots I ever saw a student use this golf club was with, with were horrendous golf shots. Horrendous. Because to be able to time the difference of the top of the backswing and get those ball bearings to move and then come down to hit a shot, wow. I think skilled players have a challenge with that. You put this in the hand of, a, of an 18 handicapper, wow. And the thing is, with the first five shots, you've already lost the confidence of the student using this training aid, because he's now thinking, what's the purpose of this? And I explained it very clearly to every student who was using this, why they were using it for. I was typically using it with players who would either move too much to the right or too much to the left in the backswing. And what I wanted to concentrate on was the ball bearings moving in the shaft. That came from more of a rotation of the body, as opposed to a sharp pull back and shift. So if we got that, we didn't hear the ball bearings move. So then it was like, oh, hold on, what, what other things could it work for? One of the things that I found it useful for, let me just get this screen back on. What I found this very, very useful for, and I used it with one student, I think I've got a clip actually, I'll throw this clip in, is actually just helping with the wrist set. I found this training aid more useful for the early start of this golf swing as opposed to the top of the swing. And again, I watched a video from Gabe Golf on their website, and it was on about, I mean, like I say, you'd look at the website and think this golf club cured every fault that golf would ever have. 
just just too many too many promises. I wish it just stuck to one or two. So I think even here on the web on the uh, create a balanced loaded backswing with a good turn and shoulder arm position. Okay, I can I can see a little bit of that. I can see a little bit of that. And hit practice balls with the swing trainer just like you would with your actual club. Well, that's no, because nobody nobody's going to swing like Hideki Matsuyama and get away with it. And already, honestly, after the first five or six shots with a the student, they'd lost confidence with this. They were handing it me back and saying, I can't hit that. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I can, yeah, I, I can't argue with you. And that is what a trainee, you want the trainee to work like that. Like that. You don't want to have to try and force the training aid too much. That, that was the challenge for me. So what I did use it for with a lot of players was this early wrist angle. And as a practice drill, as a practice drill, I was getting players to try and just load the shaft going back. And in that way, the ball bearings would move. So I was getting them to load the shaft. I was getting them to load the shaft, replicate the feeling, and hit a normal golf shot. So that there, the ball bearings did not have time in the real swing to move. They didn't have time. But what I, we use this training aid for with many of my students was this early wrist set. That's giving me the feel. Because if I go back inside, I don't get those ball bearings to move at all. If I go back with a little bit of wrist hinge, I can get those to move. I can get those to move. That's what I used it for. And I saw brilliant results with that. Brilliant results. I did, honestly. Um, I used it with a, um, a student of mine, actually called Liam Harrison. He set up his own YouTube channel, Golf Logs UK. I used it, I think he's even got a clip on his, on his YouTube channel where we used it just to give you that feeling. It's more, it was more of a feel base. And, and a training aid that would help other factors. I was actually getting Liam to get the ball bearings to work very early in the swing. Let me see if I can show that. In fact, I can show it with this last swing. Here we go. So I was trying to get Liam to hinge the club up so these ball bearings would hit the grip end of the golf club early. Here, right here. Here, perfect. Now that is ridiculously exaggerated. Ridiculously exaggerated, but it is what's needed sometimes to make significant changes. At the top of the swing, for me, it, it took too long, and for many of my students, it took too long. Whether you make those ball bearings heavier so they shift quicker, or whether you start the, the ball bearings halfway up the shaft. If you started the ball bearings halfway up the shaft, you'd only have half the time, half the shaft to move before it hit the butt end. You need that time needs to be reduced heavily. It's too long. It's far too long to take. Um, as a golf club, I think it's a great golf club. I actually like the feel of hitting just this golf club itself. And that's often some, a sacrifice for many training aids that look like a golf club. They feel awful. They feel dreadful. Well, this actually feels, I could review this golf club. I'll cut the ball bearings out and review it. I mean, this is a great iron. Just, you know what, Gabe Golf, just make a set of these. Forget the ball bearings. Just make a set of these irons. I think you'd do better. Um, so yeah, I just wasn't massively overwhelmed with some of it. My students weren't grasping it super quick when we did the full length swings. But as that training aid of setting the club and setting the wrists, getting that wrist to set, I love it for that. As a training aid, I love it for that. If I went back with not enough wrist set, wouldn't happen. I suppose, I'll tell you what would be an advance for this, a pitching wedge version of this, where you would almost not, not be allowed to move the ball bearings. So a lofty golf club where you'd have to go back with, and you can't move the ball bearings. I think that'd be a good training aid. I really would. So I think it's got lots of positive points, but for the main purpose, I just don't feel like it does what it needs to do. And believe me, believe me when I've said I've tried this a number for months. I've had this club before, probably even before Christmas, and I have been practicing with it and giving it to my students. I didn't take this review lightly. I really did my research with this golf club. I give it to over, over probably 10, 15 students of mine. I'll do it again, Hideki Matsuyama swing. It just takes so long. Too long, in my opinion. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Hopefully it gives you some answers around this training aid. 
Um, I don't believe it covers everything that it says on the website. I think it's, you know, ridiculous, obscene amount of things that it apparently fixes. But I do think using it in a different manner definitely helps. And Gabe Golf, bring out a lofted version that you don't have to hinge. Love it. Love it. Or just, just focus on that. Just that wrist set. That's all you'd need it for. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the review. If you have, click thumbs up. Comment below what do you think of the Gabe Golf. If you've had any chance to use it. And also, guys, share some ideas of what your favourite trading aids are down below. And if there's anyone, any of them you want me to try and get my hands on and review, please let me know in the comments down below as well. Guys, thanks for watching. Look forward to catching you soon. That was the Gabe Golf. Um, what should we call it? Gabe Golf wrist uh, takeaway setter. That's what it should be called. The takeaway setter. Yeah. That's what it should be called. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.